Hello everybody, I just wanted to point out a few things during the Trump's rally last Saturday uh, which took place in Pennsylvania and uh, the alleged assassination attack that took place there. I just wanted to point out a few things that I observed uh, just by watching the video footage there and I wanted to share with you those points. Uh, bear in mind, I have uh, advocated Trump before, and I'm not saying that I am anti-Trump or, an, uh, or pro-Democrats or anything like that. I, I'm not. I've never been, and um, uh, this has got nothing to do with anything. This is just to say you need to be uh, unbiased and um, be level-headed in whatever you see and whatever he you hear uh, via media or social media or mainstream media whatever means you're watching or hearing the news you have to read between the lines and analyze them and you need to have discernment uh, the, the gift of discernment of the Holy Spirit and uh, observe everything in line with that otherwise you can be deceived easily, especially these days when we don't know who is who and what is what. Uh, there is no right or left these days. Uh, I personally consider myself uh, a right person uh, as far as politics is concerned, but however, the right and left are so much intermingled these days, and uh, as you see. Um, a person you cannot tell sometimes whether they're a man or woman uh, because of what they have done to themselves or um, you know they show themselves or they appear then uh, the same way you cannot tell a politician whether they are right or left because of so much infiltration in the system uh, now Having said all that, I just wanted to make sure you understand I am not against Trump, I've never been. So, uh, but I would, I would like to say these things because uh, regardless of who is behind this or what is behind this, uh, it is wrong and uh, as such has to be exposed and uh, not let people to be deceived by. So first thing, uh, I wanted to point out a few things and let you watch the footage over and over again and um, judge for yourself and just consider those points. First of all, he is pointing to the right where the alleged assassin is hiding on a roof and uh, when, you, when you later I'll show you the position of the assassin and the location of Trump you can see there is an angle and we, if you consider the angle with that angle you, it is very difficult if it's not impossible to shoot his right ear and um, uh, 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 one thing I would like to say first of all is that the pivotal point what gave it away to me, the indicator that this was all set up, was that uh, when the guards, the security guards, mm, jumped on him, surrounded him, they spent a lot of time down there to take him away. And then when they got up, he had some streaks of blood on his face, uh, which wasn't consistent. Uh, and it didn't look like real because blood would be running down and it wouldn't be just like that dropping some in front of your face around your uh, lips and the side of your cheek and then have a big gap with no blood between your ear and uh, where the blood is on your uh, front of your cheek so that is one problem uh, the blood itself you'll see later in the footage where I show you uh, his right ear it shows that the blood is uh, looking like clotted blood it's not fresh and runny and there's no more drips 
when he goes down, just before he goes down, he is holding his right ear with his right hand, and when he gets up, um, at that moment where he's putting his fist in the air, a couple of times he opens his hand, uh, where you can see there is no blood in his hand. When he gets up, uh, he is looking for his shoes for some, some reason. Uh, he keeps saying, let me get my shoes, let me get my shoes, something like that. And then he, um, and then he says, wait, wait. And they wait. And then he puts his fist up and says, fight, fight, fight. Uh, which is, to me, uh, it was like something that was more important to all of them, and particularly to Trump himself, than the shooting incident than the lives of other people as well as himself, than even the lives of the security guards around him. Because if the assassin is still alive, which they wouldn't know, uh, could be shooting or there could be other uh, assassins around. Uh, uh, could be shooting uh, him or the security guards or just civilians around him. So this is dangerous, yeah, just putting the lives of other people in danger just to say fight, fight, fight. Uh, I think that was the most important thing for them and the guards to make sure that is happening and posing that photogenic um, posture for photographers, for cameramen, for reporters to take very good pictures and make sure they have had enough time to take good pictures to um, uh, post them around. I got you, sir. I got you, sir. Let me get my shoes, sir. Hold that in your head. It's bloody. So we gotta move to the bus. Let me get my shoes. Okay, my shoes down. Let's go. Watch out. Wait, 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 wait. And that is going to be used everywhere. Uh, I'm betting you there's going to be posters of that all around, sold. And there's going to be companies making money out of this, making statues, uh, little decorations and ornaments of, you know, that uh, with the with the American flag above it and all that. And, and, and in fact, there uh, probably will be a big statue of that. Uh, moment made uh, in a square in a big city or somewhere in America uh, just as an iconic figure of freedom and uh, liberty and heroic acts of a president and all that however these are the points that I wanted to point out and uh, there's more as you watch you see more and more giveaway points that indicates this is all set up. The uh, sniper on the roof uh, above the, the behind Trump on that roof behind him uh, he is pointing actually at the assassin so they knew where he was they knew about his whereabouts and they knew he's out there uh, but they didn't do anything until there was some shooting. So they were waiting for him to take the first action. So that tells me they all knew about it. The fact that eyewitnesses uh, have come out and said that they were pointing out the, the assassin to the police, to the security guards and all that, and they didn't do anything, that again, that interprets to me that um, they knew all about it, they were all in it and uh, they didn't do anything because of their own agenda. Uh, someone who was here, you weren't inside the event, nope. but you were just outside. Tell us what yes. you saw and what. So, so we had a party here all day. Uh, you can see behind us at the, the Brinkles Farming Greenhouse here. We had a party. Um, and we all decided, hey, you know, 
when, when we hear Trump up there, we're going to walk up through the field, stand by the trees up there under the shade, yeah. and watch the, and listen to the rally. Right? We couldn't see him, but we could hear him. So we walked up, and probably five to seven minutes of Trump speaking. I'm estimating here. I have no idea, you know, but um, we noticed a guy crawling, arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. So we're standing there, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. And he had a gun, right? He had a rifle. The rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle, absolutely. Um, we're pointing at him. The police are down there running around on the ground. We're like, hey, man, there's a guy on the roof with a rifle. And the police were like, huh, what? You know, like, like they didn't know what was going on. You know, we're like, hey, right here on the roof. We can see him from right here. We see him. You know, he's, he's crawling. And next thing you know, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? Why have they not pulled him off the stage? I'm standing there pointing at him for, you know, two or three minutes. Secret Service is looking at us from the top of the barn. I'm pointing at that roof, just standing there like this. And next thing you know, five shots ring out. So you're, you're almost certain that the shots came from that guy on the roof? A hundred percent. Hundred percent. And he he was up there for a couple of minutes. He was up you there. Him up there for a couple of minutes. Absolutely, at least three to four minutes. And you were telling yep. the police and the secret service. We were telling the police. We were pointing at him for the secret service who were looking at us from the top of the barn. They were looking at us the whole time when we were standing by that tree. Could they see binoculars? Him? Could they see him? Probably not, because the roof, the way the, the slope went, he was behind where they could see. But but why is there not secret service on all of these roofs here? I mean, this is not a big place. Did you see, I mean, obviously everyone, when the shooting started, everyone was very panicked. Did, oh, you, did you see what happened to him at all? Oh yeah, they blew his head off. Okay, sorry. Secret Service blew his head off. Okay, just be careful because we don't even quite know who's watching, but you, you're pretty sure they, they, they shot the guy? Absolutely, 100%. Okay. Okay. Yep. You, you saw that happen? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. And did you see them go up to him afterwards or? They, yeah, they crawled up on the roof. They had their guns pointed at him, make sure he was dead. He was dead. And that was it. It was over. That's incredibly shocking. The guy was on the roof right there. You could see the white roof right there. Did you get a look at him? Could you? I, I, no, other than he was in muted colors, tan type clothing. We saw the rifle flinging around as he was trying to crawl. I mean, we saw the rifle, 100%. Do you, do, I mean, do you know about guns? Do you know what kind of weapon it was? Oh, I absolutely know about guns, for sure. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a rifle of some sort. I wouldn't know, you know, I wasn't close enough to read the label on it. No, but sure. but I it, was, it right. was a rifle of some sort. Yeah, absolutely. So what do you, how do you process what you've just seen? <sighs> I, I don't know what to say, man. All I'll tell you is, you know, if I... If I walked up close to there with anything that can, Secret Service considered a, a, a problem, I wouldn't be standing here talking to you right now. But I don't know why a guy who we're standing there pointing out to police and Secret Service is crawling up the roof. When you look at even the uh, position of the person that was killed in the audience uh, compared to the position of Trump, uh, there's a big gap, there's a big distance, kind, kind of. He was at the the last row almost behind him and uh, the angle of the position of the assassin and Trump wouldn't even allow uh, him to shoot his ear and not to get him. He would either miss him completely or, uh, or shoot him down so it wouldn't be possible and, and then shoot somebody uh, who is a few rows above him, behind him. So that all just doesn't add up. The time they took the guards over him just to get ready and then get up and then say, when you're ready, uh, still they take a little bit of a time after that till they get up. And, and when they do get up, like I said, he says, wait, wait, he has to do his gesture, this posture of uh, at that moment, he wants to give plenty of time uh, to the reporters and photographers to take those good pictures from him so they can use. And another thing I wanted to say is that um, the security guards were not even interested in his 
uh, blood there was no compression on his ear or something uh, to do any first aiding or anything but they were more interested in him taking those um, postures and uh, putting his fist in the air take pictures and, and say those words so that that again that's an indication that to me indicates this was all uh, set up but the point of the scenario is not just taking pictures of all of course is uh, the agenda behind it to have more control over guns more control over people more control over the rallies and all those kind of things I don't know what the agenda exactly is or will be but um, uh, what I do know is uh, they were all in it uh, and there is no doubt about that I have no doubt about that first when I saw this the first time I saw the first footage I thought maybe it's suspicious let me think about this let me you know uh, watch it over and over again but the more I watched it the more I realized uh, as soon as especially I heard the eyewitnesses um, witnessing to what they'd seen and showing and pointing out to the to the gunman on the roof and them doing nothing it was just obvious to me that the whole thing was a setup uh, of course he is going to be voted in uh, to the office and he'll be uh, the next president uh, because of this and and if, if he wasn't because of this he would be probably president anyway but uh, this gives them more power to do other things that they wanted to do now um, as far as people's decisions of course it changes it has changed the polls already uh, some who were on the fence they have tipped over to the to be more towards the Republicans uh, and um, uh, a lot of the Democrats who were traditionally voting for Demo Democrats or Democratic Party uh, then uh, they, they have also changed their views and they're going to vote for uh, Republicans or for Trump and um, this is one of the first results but there is more than that uh, there is more than eyes can see uh, in, in, in this um, in this show if you like um, as far as Trump himself is concerned as far as I am concerned uh, Trump uh, I am not sure uh, I don't know for sure I can't tell you with any evidence uh, whether actually Trump is Trump uh, because um, as far as I'm concerned Trump since 2020 when he contracted the virus um, he almost became a different person after that uh, because before that he was saying totally different things about the virus and then after that he was saying totally different things uh, opposite scales of um, spectrum and uh, I don't know if he's a replacement if he's a clone or whatever actor or whatever he is or he is himself I don't know I'm not sure but what I do know is it could be bought uh, it could have been threatened uh, I don't know what I do know is not the same as he was um, four or five years ago what all this means is first of all this will change the result of the elections this will change a lot of laws and bills in the government in in this country in America and this also means that for us for um, the people it means that you have to be uh, as wise as serpents like Jesus told us and as harmless as sheep um, especially and um, very very particularly in this day and age when you can't tell who is who and what is what where there are too much infiltration in everything and every system uh, so you have to ask for the discernment of the Holy Spirit to have that to judge and discern everything you see and you hear otherwise you can be easily uh, deceived uh, I just wanted to say this because I uh, feel like you know they're trying to pull wool over people's eyes although I uh, love 
what Trump stands for, not Trump himself particularly, but what he stands for or what Republicans stand for traditionally. But, however, um, this thing, uh, on this occasion at least, is wrong and uh, I, I, don't, I don't condone that. Uh, and in fact, I condemn it. It risks lots of people's lives and it has uh, injured and killed uh, innocent people for some people's political gain. Uh, this is not right. And um, when you look at the, uh, the gunman, just going around this silly gunman, uh, pointing the gun at just the unarmed, just normal uh, audience people. That's just that's just silly. And it's just the way they act and the uh, reaction of the security people when they get up with Trump, when, get, when they get him up and they, they stand all around him as a, a security wall. Uh, if you look at their faces, although most of them have glasses on. Uh, but um, if you look at their faces, you can see they're not really bothered at all. They're not rushed, they're not stressed, and they don't feel like under any kind of pressure to do anything. They're not rushing. Like I said, they're taking their time to make sure the reporters are taking those good pictures. And him himself is not very stressed either. And uh, he, this is not a movie. Uh, but it is made out just like a movie, just like a magic stage. If you haven't seen the series of Just for Laughs, uh, go ahead and type on YouTube Just for Laughs gags and you'll see a series of people uh, in various countries going and staging up uh, scenarios in different locations where normal people are easily fooled and go along with them and, and this has been going on for a few years just for laughs is a, a series that is really for laughs but uh, I, I think even that was used for testing the populace to see how far they can go with the, the authorities with the powers see how far they can push people without them saying anything uh, so if you watch, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen it, you need to see that. Uh, if you have, you know what I'm talking about already. Uh, this is the same as that. Yeah, it's just on a bigger scale. And when I watched this, and I heard the eyewitnesses testifying to what they had seen, it just reminded me of Twin Towers. It was, it was a similar uh, scenario that took place then. And um, after that, a lot of things in the world changed, even the way we travel and the way we go through airports. And the um, uh, fact is, after that, uh, in 2020 also, um, after what happened, things changed in the world as well. And now, after this event, this incident also, uh, a lot of things are going to change in the world. And uh, the reason I say that is uh, because uh, this is important and the way all the world leaders have reacted are put on, this, on the screen. Uh, the reactions of the world leaders, I keep the screen for a few seconds on each page uh, for you to see if you want to pause it and read the reactions of each a leader, um, you'll see one thing in every single one of them, apart from one or two of them, have this phrase mentioned in, in their uh, remarks in one way or the other. Uh, and the phrase is, political violence has no place in our democracy, or political violence has no place in democracies, something like that. And this just resonates with what they said when we had whistleblowers during the 2020 pandemic 
uh, and all the uh, mainstream media had the same uh, phrase saying this is dangerous to our democracy and I'll play that as well so you can see how uh, this is a world this, this is a global agenda so it's not like uh, something that just ju that's just for America it's a global thing and they're all in it all the world leaders are in it and um, so you can see for yourself uh, well, I mean, when, when they did. I am Fox San Antonio's Jessica Headley. And I'm Ryan Wolf. Our, our greatest, greatest responsibility, responsibility is, is to, to serve, serve our, our Treasure Valley communities, the El Paso Las Cruces communities, Eastern Iowa communities, Mid Michigan communities. We are extremely proud of the quality, balanced journalism that CBS 4 News produces. But we are concerned about the trouble and trying to be responsible one side of news stories plaguing our country. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish these same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news, news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. And this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 So the conclusion here is that I would like you to take things with a pinch of salt, whatever you see and hear, and pray over them, and this have the discernment of the Holy Spirit as um, we have been commanded to, to do. Test every spirit and not believe everything that you see and you hear discern the spirits. I rest my case here and I hope you have a good time. God bless you and goodbye.